The Victoria Cross is the highest award for bravery in wartime. Here at Rourke's Drift, we won 11 Victoria Crosses for defending this mission station. Well, it's rubble now. It'll look good in the papers. It was established on the 29th of January, 1856 by Queen Victoria. I think everyone here should get a Victoria's Cross because every moment has been terrible and rubbish. Totally agree. No, no, the Victoria's Cross is just for the Commonwealth of Nations. Ah, oh, that's right, we get the Iron Cross. Sucks! But who won the first Victoria Cross? It was me, Charles Davis Lucas. Oh, I've given it away. Oh, please stay. Please watch the rest of the video. I promise it'll be adequate. I'm Brian Pilchard, and I love history. Using my skills in effects, clothes, and disguises, I'm gonna take you on a journey back in time for an adventure in super history. History! 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 It's June 1854 and Charles Davis Lucas serves aboard the Hydra-class steam sloop HMS Heckler. They journey towards Bomersund. Hey, um, what's the name of the place we're going? It's called Bomersund. Oh, yeah, thanks. It's in Orland, Finland. Oh, okay. Great. At the moment, it's part of the Russian Empire. Right now, we're a part of the Crimean War. Oh, yep, yep. It's Russia and Greece versus the Ottoman Empire, France, the United Kingdom, and Sardinia. <sighs> oh! The Ottoman Empire is falling, and France, the UK, and Sardinia, or fucks, for sure, want to keep the Ottoman Empire going. It's all about the balance of power. On the 21st of June, the Heckler and two other ships bombard Bomersund, the Russian fort in Orland, Finland. During the exchange of fire, an unexploded shell landed on the deck of the Heckler. Everyone, down! Yeah, look, I know the bomb looks kind of crap, but not all of our videos can have a big $100 budget. This was the first act awarded the Victoria Cross. He was immediately promoted from midshipman to lieutenant and was invited to the first ever Victoria Cross award ceremony. But he wasn't the first in line to receive his award. As they were presented in rank order, Commander Henry Rabby received his first. He received his award for saving a soldier. Oh! Ah! Help! Help! Oh, God damn it to hell! This was almost a year after Charles Davis Lucas threw the bomb over the ship. Being a lieutenant, Lucas received his award fourth in line. The award was presented by Queen Victoria herself. Congratulations! And the order of the new awards, the Victoria Cross, was handed out, Royal Navy first and then the military, starting in rank order. And not everyone was happy with the order of recipients. I think that Charles Davis Lucas was robbed right in front of me, right in front of me. We're now joined by one of the Royal Navy recipients, John by the Sea. So your name's John by the Sea, and you were serving on the HMS Arrogant. Yeah, weird. And now we have the man who was third in line to receive his award. Yes, and here's the award itself. The blue ribbon is for the Navy, and the Army military got red. Here, have a look at that. Oh! Oh! We're now joined by Charles Davis Lucas, and we're going to ask him the burning question. So, Charles, 
Are you a bit balmy? A little bit crazy? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> a bit, a bit balmy. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the studio. That day, 63 Victoria Crosses were due to be received, but only 62 were handed out at the ceremony. Private William Stanlake of the Coldstream Guards was barred from attending by his commanding officer for thieving. Oh, I didn't want to go to your stupid ceremony anyway. Well, there you have it. The first Victoria Crosses. Well, that's the end of the video. I've got to move on and do some World War I stuff. Already started. And, oh, that's right, I was going to wear the merch to, uh, to advertise it. Hang on a tick. I have heard that when they use fashion models, they're selling the body and thus selling the clothes. Anyway, thanks for watching and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. Also to our patrons, thank you for helping us produce this video. Uh, the uh, production values are probably going to go up a bit soon. Thank you.